Hello, today I'm going to be ranking the Clash Royale win conditions. Um, first up we have Battle Ram. I think the Battle Ram is a C tier win condition because it can be easily countered with any building or really any moderate damage troop. So I don't I don't love the Battle Ram. And it is uh, slightly pricey at four elixirs, not too bad though. Next up we have Balloon. I believe Balloon is so like a tier because it can deal tons of damage if that's undefended and has good synergies with like lumber drack like a lumber loon at the bridge can be pretty devastating um so solid a tier but it's not the reason it's not s tier is because buildings like tesla can counter it or even cannon if played correctly and like bats actually can counter it pretty well next up we have elixir golem I'm torn on Elixir Golem, because I'm not sure whether to put it S tier or D tier. I'll put it B tier for now, because if in a draft, for example, if it has no synergies with, like, Electro Dragon, it's Battle Healer, Night Witch, and stuff, it's very, it's not that good, and it's a negative Elixir trade. Um, but in certain decks, in certain matchups, it can be... Actually, I'm going to move it to top of C tier. Because it is pretty easy to defend still. Um, Electro Giant. I'm going to put that at the bottom of A tier. Because it is good, but Inferno Tower can shut it down. And Tank Killer is like Mini Peck and Pekka can. But it's overall solid. But it is a bit pricey. So you, if you're going to be putting this in, at, the, at the bridge, you need to be prepared for a counterattack. Either opposite lane or same lane. Um, Giant. Giant is solid. It's like the first win condition you unlock. I'd say it's a solid B tier, because it has, like, Giant Graveyard, for example, is good. But it can be countered quite easily, and it's a little pricey at 5 Elixir. Goblin Barrel. I'm a little bit torn on this one, because it is good. I'll put it... I'll put it at A tier, maybe. I'll put it at the top of A tier, because it's very good, and Tricky Barrel has many opportunities. But, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it at the top of B tier. But the problem with it is that with Barbarian Barrel and Log being the two, one, two like really good cards in the game, very prominent, it can be countered a little too easily. But it is very good for its price, only 3 Elixir. And it can do a lot of damage if left undefended, and it can even take a tower with, like, a, a tank in front of it. Goblin Drill? Goblin Drill is not that good. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of B tier. Because it can be countered easily. It's basically just, like, a Goblin Barrel, but more expensive. If you basically even just have, like, a knight to tank for the goblins and take it out, then it's pretty good. But it can be a good surprise, and you can do some, some stuff where you can place it on the other sides. Let's see, Goblin Giant, we're doing all the goblins, I guess. I like Goblin Giant. Oops, um, I think I'll put Goblin Giant at top of A tier. Because it's reliable, it's 6 elixir, which isn't too great, but it can also be used if you really need to to defend, which a lot of these can't do. Like, I guess you could do a defense goblin barrel, but most of these are building targeters. And this is also one, but at least it has some goblins on its back. Golem. Golem is... Golem is very good. So I'm gonna... Mm, I want to say very good. It's good. I'll put it at the bottom of A tier. Because... Golem... Can be devastating, especially with the right synergies. But it's also very expensive at 8 elixir. So if you're just playing a Golem in the back, get prepared to tower trade. It's really good with beatdown. Graveyard? I like Graveyard. I think this will be my first S tier card. Because it's almost guaranteed damage, and like a giant graveyard can, well, most most of the time take the tower if they don't have the proper responses. Uh, the almighty hog rider. I'm gonna say, no, nope, not there. This is S tier. It's not too expensive. It's only four elixir, and it's really good. It can be shut down with buildings. But if you have, like, a Hog Earthquake, for example, Synergy, 
It's very good. It's very reliable in conditions. Lava Hound. I think, on its own, it's not a good win condition. I think of it more as a tank or a support card. So as a win condition, as a card, I'd put it up in the A tier. But as a win condition, I'm putting it like C tier. Because if it's not paired with Balloon or another win condition, then it can't do much damage and it's expensive. Like I'd pay for an undefended Lava Hound. Well, it only takes like half a tower or so. And if you just put like a princess or like bats, that could like be half that damage. Minor. Along with, along with the Lava Hound, I do not believe Minor to truly be a win condition, but more of a support card. It's a good card. I'll put it at the bottom of B tier. Mortar. Mortar's pretty reliable. I'd say it's the it's, it's in A tier. It's good, and it's not too expensive, but the catch with mortars that can be also used to defend. It can shut down a balloon for positive elixir trade as a building, or it can also defend ground troops if you put it in the middle of your side. Ram Rider. I used to think that Ram Rider was really good, but now with the nerf, it's not that good. I'll put it maybe, like, top of C tier, because uh, Ram Rider can easily be shut down and can't do much damage to the tower even if left undefended. So Ram Rider is fine, but it's not great. Let's see. Um, Royal Giant is... I like Royal Giant, but I admit that it's not the best card. I'll put it bottom of A tier. Um, because... I think Royal Giant's good because it can do mass amounts of damage easily. But on the other hand, oh, sorry for the background noise, by the way, I don't know if you can hear it. On the other hand, it can be shut down easily, and generally, people don't like it. And with the buildings and everything in the meta, it's not great. Alright, Royal Hogs, I really like. I'm gonna put it at the top of S tier. Now, in like top ladder competitions, it's not too good, but I'm just like mid ladder. It's really good, because if you, like, split royal hogs, then they can't do too much. And it's almost guaranteed a lot of damage, especially if paired with, if paired with Earthquake. So I like royal hogs. And they're only 5 elixir, which is a plus. Alright. Skelly Barrel? I'm just gonna... This is my, fir this is my first, I think, only D-tier card. It can be good in, like, Speedy Balloon or, like, Double Barrel Bait. But on its own, it's not very good. It can be shut down with basically any card. That's like... Because you can just use any building or Valkyrie or just like a knight or something to tank for it. And then if you even just put skeletons there, there's not too much damage. And so I don't really like Skeleton Barrel. But it's pretty good like Speedy Balloon. Um, wall Breakers. I, I really like Wall Breakers. They're a very go to secondary win condition, so I'm gonna put them top of A tier. Because um wall breakers are only two elixir. If left undefended they can deal I don't really know the precise name how much, but they can do a lot of damage. And you can split wall breakers first play, which is pretty good because it forces out elixir. And they're most likely gonna spend more than two two elixir. Either that or you get a good amount of damage. So I like wall breakers. So this is my my ranking, you can leave in the comments um, if there's anything you should change to this, or if there's anything you would change. Alright, thanks for watching.